This is Tony Pilo for NCC TV, and we are here at the second Wilmington Writers Workshop being held by Sophia Hansen here at the Fair Library. I'm excited to be here. Let's go back and see what the kids are doing. All right, uh, please tell us your name. Sophia Hansen, General Manager, Newcastle County Department of Community Services. My name is Joan Hamilton, Department of Community Services, Division Admin Services. Okay, we're here at the Bear Library uh, for the Young Writers Workshop. Tell us a little bit about this wonderful program. All right, um, the Young Writers Workshop actually began last year with a grant from MNC Bank. And um, we operate workshops at different county facilities, including libraries and um, house centers and community centers. This is our first year at the Bear Library. And um, we've had an overwhelming enrollment response here and uh, a lot of creative energy. Uh, the book topic that the kids are writing um, the Bear Library is about time travel and um, art. So they're visiting the various artists, a lot of artists that people maybe not have heard of, um, such as, let's see, Jacob Lawrence, Henry Tanner, Frida Kahlo, Ezra Jack Keats, which everybody knows the book, but that's not necessarily him, Georgia O'Keeffe, and as well as the traditional artists, they'll be visiting Salvador Dali and Picasso, but looking at work that um, you might not have heard of. And Joan, you, you seem to be impressed with uh, the work that the kids are doing. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what you have seen them do? It's hard to explain how they just bring out what they have within them. You put the paper out, yes. and the pens, and they write, and they draw, and it, it's things right. we would never think yes, of. Yes, absolutely. I mean, just using their mind, and it's so phenomenal i am so impressed and it's a collaborative With, process yes it's not a in, these young writers workshops you step away from being an individual to understanding the power of team now today is a little bit of a fun day um yes. we're we're engaging in art today mr cat is here can you tell us a little bit uh about that yeah, mr cat um actually he was one of the artists that worked on young writers workshop last year and he moved to virginia and we brought him back for a day to do a really great workshop fun day step away from the controlled environment of the book schedule so the kids are actually creating their own comic book characters and just having a little fun and exploring um, a different direction in art and doing a little work with watercolor um, the, the tool we're using for our book they, the children chose markers so um, so experiencing different materials that you can use for the creative process now, first year that the Bear Library hosts the Young Writers Workshop, this is actually the second year though, correct? Second year for the um, Young Writers Workshop, first year for Bear Library, and um, we, we actually had a waiting list um, for this site. So, so the, the program has been successful for all the Very purposes. successful. Very. Uh, let me ask this though, just to make sure everybody's clear. These children are working on a book. Yes. This book, it'll be entered into the National Scholastic Kids or Authors Competition. Um, this is the last year that they're actually doing the competition. But we'll continue our Young Writers Workshop, obviously. So um, when the books don't, um, that, that aren't selected, they only pick two top winners nationally. We still actually print the books, and then the kids enjoy book tour. Um, so we had a lot of fun last year. We have even more students this year, so we're really looking forward to a wonderful one. Right, well, thank you very much. Let's talk to uh, some of the kids. All right, thank you. Oh, I'm Stan with Jones. And where do you go to school, Stan? Go to school at Douglas Academy. What grade are you in? Eighth grade. So, what has been your experience? How have you liked participating in the Young Writers Workshop? I think it's been phenomenal. I think I have a chance to really show my artistic abilities. Um, let me ask you, what book? Did you guys decide to to write like what what do you have a working title or anything like that my personal book was as a jack keats the snowy day and uh in the in the, in the workshop you guys are in the process of writing your own book yes have you figured out what you want to do yet or yes oh i think we came to a conclusion we're going to do time traveling go back and edit the book so we can be famous 
it's always a, a good genre, it's, uh, yeah. uh, very entertaining. Um, what do you think you've learned uh, being in the workshop? I think I learned a lot. Uh, I've really learned that I have something inside of me that somebody wants to see. All right, and today is a little bit of a fun day, right? I mean, yes. doing art, uh, yeah. what's your take on that? Uh, making our own comic books, so I'm really not good with comics because it's just not me, but I've learned a lot of stuff. But it's interesting learning about how the comic books are created with the yes. you know penciling and the art and all that stuff. Yes, sir. All right, uh, that should do it. Was there anything else you wanted to add? No, just I had a really great time. Uh, shout out to the Writers Club. Who you got to? I'm Isabella, and I go to Greenwood. Okay. I'm Victoria, and I also go to Greenwood. What grades are you in? I am in fifth grade, and I am in fourth. All right. So uh, you are participating in the Young Writers Workshop. Um, how do you like it? What are you getting out of the of the workshop? I like drawing and writing. I think I like the topic. Of the, how we look photobomb artists. And how about you? Um, I like drawing. Awesome. Uh, what? Tell me about the, the subject that you're writing about, the name of the book, uh, those kinds of things. Well, the name of the book is The Photobomb Time Machine, and it's about these kids, and they photobomb famous artists, this is good. Um, like their famous painting, and um, there are rules for it, so you can't just do anything you want, but there are rules. All right, what, are, what have you learned? Uh, in the writing workshop. I learned how to write better, how to color better. And today is a break. You're learning about art, uh, the comic uh, book art. Is that a nice break and how are you enjoying it? I enjoy making comics. It's very fun. I mean, I do them at home, but now I actually know. Because like we have a sketchbook, but we just use it. We don't really use it. Like sketching, we just paint. My name is. Let me get the book. Because you can draw, you can color that better. My name is Yana, and I go to all of you guys on my trust. And we we photo bomb. All right, and now what what grades are you in? I'm in fifth grade. I'm in fourth grade, and I'm in fifth grade. All right, so, so tell us about your uh, experience in uh, the Young Writers Workshop. Uh, how are you uh, enjoying it, taking it all in? Well, it's very fun because it's writing, and I like writing in all of it, so it's very fun to me. All right. I really like it because... You can do that twice, whatever. Because when when I paint, it really gives me creativity. All right. Um, I like Young Writers Workshop because it gives you a chance to create your own stories and imagine, use your imagination. All right. So you guys are writing about a time machine. Uh, time travel sounds like. Is that, do you think that's fun? Is, is that interesting for you? Yes, I think time travel is very interesting because we get to like, well, we draw and sketch the time machine. So it's very fun. And I like the photo bomb, the artist. Is everybody here doing? We went in their book and we photo bombed ourselves in the book. I think it's um, cool and fun because you get to learn about time travel, which is really interesting. And part of the photo bombing, it seems really the photo bombing is really, really fun. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody's done. What about the artists? Uh, have you got talked about what kind of artists you're going to include in the book? She might have a plan for you. Well, my so artist was Israel Jack Keats, and we photobombed the snowy day. Which and uh, lastly, um, what what do you think you're learning uh, you know, during the, the, the workshop? Um, I think we're learning how to write and like, draw, how to be more creative in our imagination. 
I think I'm learning about um, how time travel works and about how the artists did their paintings and stuff. Well, I think that all right, with, for, I'm going to learn that one, how That's to write good. and yeah. how to use like, how my characters what, are like, more, what do you see? Um, how do you draw it for this drawing? We're not drawing that. For acting no, no, not that. and painting and drawing. Okay, we are here with Valerie George, uh, yeah. Legislative Aid to yeah. Councilman David Zackett. How are you doing today, Valerie? Wonderful, thank you. And we're here in the Bear Library for the Young Writers Workshop. And what's been your, your impression of how the children are taking it all in and, 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 uh, in the Young Writers Workshop in terms of what they're learning? And, uh, I mean, they're writing a book for out loud. What, what's your I think it's really exciting. Uh, the response that we've had has been really almost overwhelming. We've had more than 20 kids sign up for the class and show up week after week, uh, really being enthusiastic and writing their own original storyline and producing their own original artwork. It's very exciting. You know, so the, 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 the writing aspect and the, you know, the art uh, are being put together, and, you know, just the writing itself. I mean, it's got to be making them use their critical thinking yeah. skills. Uh, the artist is bringing in their imagination. Uh, I, wouldn't you say that's a pretty good combination for the kids in terms of this learning environment? Absolutely. I think that this is really, it's a groundbreaking program. It's really challenging them to step up and do things that they didn't even know they could do, uh, honestly. And really, we're seeing some great talent that's right here in Newcastle County starting to shine. And I'm just curious, how, how did you get involved? Uh, the, the, uh, Sophia actually she knew that I was an artist uh, in my in my other time and asked if I would be interested in coming and volunteering and I was very excited to be a part of anything that would involve kids and getting them to the library and just letting them be creative and express themselves in an artistic way. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for taking time to talk with us here on NCCTV and thank you for all your work. All right, that'll wrap up today's edition for NCC TV. I gotta hand it to Sophia Hansen and her crew, working with these children, helping them learn some things that are gonna benefit them for the rest of their lives. I commend them. Uh, once again, this is Tony Prado for NCC TV here at the Bear Library. Thank you as always for watching. Take care.